the White House, John L. Lewis, Union Head, and Federal Coal Administrator J.A. Krug with his Chief Deputy, Vice Admiral Morrell, conduct the negotiations which mean good news to consumers. The end of the strike, which shut down soft coal mines on April 1st and threatened a tie-up of all industry. All through the soft coal regions, miners await the word to return on completion of the compromise agreement. Everybody's happy. 400,000 of these men will now go back to work with a wage increase in line with that granted other basic industries, a new welfare fund contract, and agreements on sanitation and safety codes. Sixty-eight million tons of coal production was the loss during the long layoff. American railroads, factories and homes are desperately in need of plenty of these black diamonds. When the long coal trains move again, we can all look forward to improved production in all industry. Catholic charities make their attack on starvation as millions of pounds of food pour into a New York warehouse and are sorted for overseas shipment. 14,000 parishes throughout the United States contribute to the stream of supplies for a starving world. Cardinal Spellman and Britain's Cardinal Griffin inspect the project, which has shipped more than 24 million pounds in the past four months. Wherever there are hungry mouths goes the food of the Catholic charities without regard to race, creed, or color. The shipping facilities operate on a 24-hour-a-day basis, sending cargo to the four corners of the world. The hand of Christianity reaches out to the hungry of the earth.